resources for reenactment of any kind, there are certain considerations that need to be taken into account. Most of the training goes into what we call desensitising the horses and we use this offering praise and reward to make it worthwhile for the horse to undertake activities. So here we have Spider. Spider has been trained to approach shield walls and not see them as a threat. When we started, he wasn't keen on going up to shields and over the years we've gradually built up to get him desensitised to this and actually turn it into a little game for him. So, let's see how Spider gets on. You'll see Spider circling the infantryman. We're engaging the infantryman. The spider has hooked his head over the shield and lo and behold, what's behind? A treat. So we're extending this activity by having Spider follow the infantryman. And you can see that with admittedly minimal help from the rider, Spider is following the infantryman because he knows it's worthwhile and there's something there for him. And again, we're circling the infantryman and we're engaging the infantryman. And again, Spider hooks the shield out of the way and gets a tree and praise from the rider. This is how we make Spider reassured about shields. If the horse does something that it's not sure of, we praise the horse and give it a treat. So here's me long reining my horse Smurfy. I don't know whether he's ever done any long reining before, you can see by the way he's gently turning, he's now in what we call self-carriage. This means the horse is balanced, is able to carry its own weight. He is also able to develop better muscles along his back. Here we are lunging Smurfy, just in a circle. You can see we are asking him to trot. to canter. To trot. To walk. To stand. He has got really efficient ears, so I can practically whisper and it makes him listen all the more when you're training a horse. You don't need to shout. <laughs>